Okay, next is supply. So far, we discussed a lot about the demand. Now we'll discuss supply. Supply means how many units a producer is willing and able to supply at different prices at a period of time, right? So a producer want to sell ten units at price one, and let's suppose twelve units at price two. That will be called as supply. So it's a straight positive line, and it's sloping upwards from left to right. so there is a positive relationship so as the price increases as the price increases supplier will supply more why because now this is the time to produce more and sell more and earn more similarly we discussed uh, as we discussed in shift in supply demands here we will discuss shift in supply we said that when price increases supply also increases but sometimes price remain the same but still supply increases why there are number of reasons for it but in any case if it happens we will call as upward shift in supply see in this case the supply curve move from s1 to s2 price is the same let let's suppose it was 10 the quantity the seller was selling was 11 unit for example price remain the same but now he or she is selling 15 unit right now this increase in the supply is not because of the price but because of the other factor like for example a reduction in the cost of production previously a person could buy like could uh, like you say could produce the thing at 9 dollar and he was selling the the goods are ten dollar, so and, and he was selling eleven unit. But now there is a reduction in the cost price, and now he is able to produce eight unit, uh, able to produce eight per unit. So the profit margin is increased. So he will try to produce more and sell more at the same price, so that this is the time he can earn more profit, right? So this is called shift in the supply. And similarly. it can be vice versa as well right a upward shift and similarly it can be downward shift so you see higher cost production i said if cost production i literally i said if cost production reduces the curve will shift upward and vice versa if the cost of production increases now his profit margin is reduced so what will happen he will reduce the supply so what will happen he will reduce the supply from 15 unit to allow because now it becomes expensive for him and profit margin is redu reduced so he will produce less similarly indirect taxes if there are indirect taxes more and more taxes such as value added tax or other so what happens it becomes good less profitable so he what he will do or she will do the seller will if if he, if the seller is not able to increase the price because the seller knows that if i increase the price it will what it will do what it will decrease the demand in the market so what the seller is doing seller will produce less and supply less because it is now expensive for him the profit margin is reduced so how how why it will be shift downwards technological uh, innovations for example advancement of microchip technology lowered the cost of computer and led the large increase in the supply right so cause of downward shift downward shift means shift towards right side right so upward supply you can also say sorry downward supply means it is moving towards right hand side supply is increase in short right so when technological in innovation takes place now you can produce uh, more quality good at a less price so you can what you can produce more and sell more more efficient use of existing production factor of production previously there was less efficiency but now if the efficiency has been increased when the efficiency increases this means now you can produce goods at a less cost so less cost again mean what more production more benefits and more production lower price inputs as i explained earlier if the raw material become cheaper or whatever so it will bring down the production cost and what will happen the supplier will increase the 
supply and reduction or evolution of indirect tax just a vice versa of the point that we discussed little earlier that when their indirect taxes are reduced or government like just abolish it means uh, wave off the taxes so what will happen again it will reduce the cost of production and the supplier will increase the supply. in short in any case if the cost of production reduces or the method of production help you the supplier to reduce the cost of production it will increase the profit margin and hence the supplier will increase the supply at the while keeping remaining at the same retail price or selling price this is called as a shift in the supply or downward shift downward shift is sorry downward shift is like you see this is a supply and now this is a supply right so this is a downward shift so finally demand and supply equilibrium this is a demand curve we discussed in the beginning and this is a supply curve so the point where these two are intersecting is called as equilibrium similarly when the quantity demand is equal to quantity supplied is called as what is called as equilibrium in this case quantity demand and quantity supply are 200 unit and the equilibrium price is four dollar per unit so that is called as equilibrium so i think that is sufficient for today in the next class then we will move towards cost and uh, yeah surplus and shortage and then we have maximum minimum prices so that we will be discussing in next lecture right so it's little little difficult i'm not saying difficult but it's little tricky uh, practice on it and i hope you'll get the concept if there is still any confusion so you can write it to me i'll explain it in different way or i can help you in any way right so you have my email number you uh, sorry you may email address you have my cell number so you can uh, contact me by using any of it right so and anyway thank you thank you very much take care see you next time